Hello, dear Vanya. Hello, Agatha. Let's discuss today about um, approvals of products and process. Yeah, so this means that I would like to discuss today with you about VDA2 or called in other um, abbreviation PPA in English or PPF in German. Yes, yeah, so this is the procedure where, of course, we need to approve somehow that we are capable to produce um, our um, products from our capable process um, according to the requirements. So what would you say us about this? Okay, about PPA procedure. Um, Volkswagen mentioned that the, the internal process that they have and the tier one needs to fulfill is based on VDA2 in the VDA standard. Um, so they say it's based, it's not exactly the same templates, Volkswagen change, but they add some, uh, some new requirements for this procedure. So now they, they are requesting the PPA agreement that is written on the VDA standard, um, but they have their own um, template for the, 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 the PPA agreement. So the supplier needs to prepare uh, this PPA agreement to discuss and consider maturity level assurance uh, milestones and activities like the round table. This can be a topic or a subject to discuss with the, with the customer during a, a round table activity, for, it, for example. But it's something that in the past uh, did not appear in, in the, in, on, the, on the requirements. But you have other, other, other change. Uh, for sure, some of you remember that Volkswagen used not three and not one. Now they say that the possible rating of the PPA procedure can be uh, ready for seal production or not ready for seal production, like we can found in VDA standard. This is, I would say, the two big difference. But nevertheless, now we have also uh, the templates for self-assessment of process, production process, and for the product. Um, it's based on what we found in VDA standard, but Volkswagen created their own uh, template, also requests um, the risk assessment uh, when the, the supply identify deviation in terms of products, products, or in terms of production process. I would say this will be the big difference. But some other requirements, uh, they are the same. For example, change management based on trigger metrics that appears written on VDA2. This they, they, they request that the supplier fo follow uh, these uh, trigger metrics. But it's like, uh, how can I say the big difference what, or what is still the same? Because normally the tier one will submit all this documentation uh, and samples also, but we're using the beyond portal. So in terms of procedure, we, don't we only find this, this difference. What is um, what is the approach if we are supplying the same product to few different plants? Do we need to have all this procedure per each plant, or one? It's 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 a good point. As far as I remember, I think it's not written in formal Q manual. Nevertheless, it's also important to coordinate with the, with the plant how they 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 want to assess. Uh, the, the, the PPA procedure. Also, the supply needs to 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 identify and also to clarify the situation, um, because in reality now we have the brand specific standards that can be a different vision that we can found in formal Q. Yes. Um, what else shall we say here? That uh, of course we have to bear in mind that there is a trigger matrix. Yes, in this procedure. Um, which can indicate for us uh, the need for starting the uh, agreement, yes, with our customer. Uh, what else is so important? Uh, let's remember that we have also uh, different possibilities to um, to work with this uh, procedure when we have variants or we have uh, stage agreements or if we have low volumes, yes. Of course, we will not discuss about this right now because uh, we would need to go to through the VDA too, but we don't want to, to discuss in detail. Exactly, exactly. But, but nevertheless, even looking for Volkswagen, product family approach appears in the, in the, in the PPA agreement. Okay, and, and we're looking for other requirements. This approach of product families is still the same, or still a possibility in, in terms of agreement of PPA procedure. But other discussion or other details is for a video topic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, at the 
uh, I would like to sum up that uh, really we can't deliver if we will not have this procedure uh, made with our customer. This is also in uh, from the ITF level. Yes, uh, we have to have the um, agreed, um, approved product and process. Yes, and this is let's say a nice finalizing of our project management. Yes, um, according to VDA MLA, of course. Um, by the way, I must tell you that once uh, during my training, I met uh, one organization which was allowed by Volkswagen to follow AIAG um, uh, APQP. Have you heard about this? <laughs> yes, I know. I found this a uh, lot of times, honestly, uh, that they are deliver parts for Volkswagen or Audi plant. And internally, they use APQP methodology, not maturity level assurance. Uh, this is a reality. Um, nevertheless, many, many times they use APQP for project management, but for the PPA procedure, they use the VDA methodology. It's also a reality. <laughs> yes, yes. That is an interesting topic when the supplier don't have the uh, answer from the customer, a final approval or a statement about this. And they receive uh, uh, needs from logistic. This is very complicated, but nevertheless, the supply needs also to make the normal pressure to have uh, an answer or a feedback regarding this, because considering the uh, requirements is a um, a difficult situation yes okay but i don't want to uh, deep dive into vda mla because i would like to invite pedro to join us for uh, the mla um, as uh, he yeah. is one of the expert about this so let's finish today and let's meet okay. in one week thank you Anya. thank you thank you